Hello, this is Bino. I'm an arborist and a certified tree worker. What I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. What we're working on today will be the double fisherman's bend. It's a recognized knot for the ISA tree worker exam. We're, we'll do it in a way that, um, say if you're gonna take the exam, in the way they'd like to see it. Also, if you haven't um, looked at our last video was the anchor hitch, you might wanna go have a look at that. All right, having said that, let's get to it. I've been an ISA judge for about 20 years now. And what I always like to see is when somebody's gonna be taking the climber test, that when they come in and they're working on their knots, that they really um, tie dress and set it properly um, in order for them to be able to go to the next round. So uh, what we'll be doing is tying them in the way that we'd like to see. In this test or this exam, you'll have to do say the, the double fisherman's bend within a minute. So what you'll do is you get to the tree or to the place where they're gonna do the knot and um, you, they'll give you the options of a, what you want to climb, um, use, your, what termination hitch you're gonna use. And their options are a bunt line, an anchor hitch, and a double fisherman's bend. So in this one, we're gonna be doing the double fisherman's bend. What you'll wanna do is you'll get your rope and so you'll be using a carabiner. What I'll do is you put one bite through your carabiner. And as you do that, now you go parallel to your line. And now you wrap downward twice. You'll go one, two. And then once you do that, you'll put your tail back in through those downward wraps. You want to make sure that you got at least three inches of tail. Now you've got that wrapped around your standing part of your line. Now what you're going to do is snug it up, tie, dress, and set your double fisherman's bend. Now once you have it tied, dress, and set, you would hand it to your evaluator. I'll tie the double fisherman's again, but I'm going to tie it slowly. Remember that it'll be, you'll want to have this tied within a minute. So I'll get my carabiner, I'll put my line through it, and create a bite. Now I'll go parallel to my line, and now I'll wrap downward twice, one, two, and I'll go back through those two wraps. And when I'm doing that, I wanna make sure that I have a um, tail that's long enough, three inches or at least five diameter lengths. Now I'm gonna, once I tighten this up, now I'll snug or tie dress and set up to that carabiner. I'll put it under pressure make sure that I have it tied. You'll know it's correct when this other tail is parallel to your standing part of the line. Now once you have it tied, dressed, and set, you'll hand it to your evaluator. So what I'll do next is I'll put um, weight, my body weight on the double fisherman's bend. Also I wanted to mention that it's not a requirement to have a stopper knot on the tail, but you definitely have to have the right amount of length. And it's, remember, five diameter lengths, which is at least three inches of tail. So what I'll do now is I'll put my climbing system on my belt and I'll put it under a load of my body weight. You can see how it, so now I'll put it under the load. Okay, it's holding. Now I put it under my full body weight. Now, another good thing about this, like any of the termination knots that we've been talking about, the bunt line, the anchor, and the double fisherman's bend, it really holds carabiners in place, so there's no fear of side loading to your minor axis of your carabiner. It'll always stay where you want it on the major axis. Um, what I really like about the double fisherman's bend, and actually this is one of my favorites, because if, and usually I'm using carabiners, when you want to take it off, especially when you put your body weight, it really cinches up. So if you have a clip, what's tough about this one, if it's a round clip, it's a lot harder to pull this apart to open up. That's where an anchor hitch or a bunt line would be a lot better for that. But um, on a carabiner, in this one, all you have to do is you slide it and you get it to the mouth of your carabiner, your gate, and then you, once you pop it off, you can get your 
not to, to undo it, grab your hand and just push it and it comes undone. That's one of the things I like about the double fisherman's bin. So here you have it, the double fisherman's bin. A good way to study this um, knot is to do it along with a video, practice it until you feel like you're confident enough to tie it, then practice it on your own, double check your work and make sure that it's proper. Once you get to that point and you feel confident where you can tie it within a minute, then you're, you're, you'll probably do well on the test. Also, I would say for me, I think it's a good idea. Once you get good at tying, say, a different termination and say this double fisherman's, tie a few different ones and get used to them. Um, it's always good to have options because uh, sometimes you never know when you're going to need to use a different termination. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with the double fisherman's Ben. Comment, like, and subscribe uh, if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. We'll see you next time. Take care.